Biological women are real women. A guy born as a man who wants to pretend to be a woman and put him in his big gym and the twins in the locker room with underage girls, or his little gym and twins, by the way, is disgusting. Um, I have a daughter. She turned 14 last year. I took her to a store called Airy for her birthday. We went shopping for an hour in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. She was taken to her dressing room by a biological male in a mini skirt and a lace bralette. It is disgusting. I have no idea if that man was over 18 or under 18. It is absolutely disgusting that we're redefining what women are and allowing men into women's private spaces. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Can you define what a woman is? This is going to be amazing. I will also check it out together. You know how I do it to talk less today when we get more. Let's get into today's video. Gentle Lady Yield Chair recognizes Ms. Mace from South Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The 14th Amendment of the Constitution and the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibit discrimination on the basis of sex. That has been the law of the land for decades. Unfortunately, Joe Biden is confused. Shocker. The Biden administration and their, quote, gender Taliban can't even define what it means to be a woman. They are erasing what it means to be women and endangering women and girls in the process. The Biden administration's Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in April of this year updated guidance on what constitutes sex-based discrimination. Under the Biden administration's guidance, use someone's biologically correct pronouns or their legal name, guess what? It's workplace discrimination. Acknowledging someone identifies as a different gender without their permission, workplace discrimination. Insist that biological men use the bathroom or locker room designated for biological men and not terrorize women and girls in the girls' bathroom. Workplace discrimination. Huh. Where did we lose our way? This is absurd. I tell I'm my so kids, when you come home from school with pronouns, you don't come home from school with pronouns, you come home with A's and B's. I don't want to know your pronouns. I don't care about your pronouns. That is not what we should be talking about in school. We should be talking about A's and B's, math, writing, and arithmetic. This guidance by the Biden administration infringes on the First Amendment rights of American workers, threatens the safety of women and girls, and serves to further erase and erode what it means to be a woman. Which leads me to my first question, Ms. Wiley. Can you define what a woman is? A woman is a person who says she is. And I let would... me just tell you one story about this because when no, I was no, a child. No, no, you're not going to tell me a story. We're not doing uh, that right now. It's not story time. Yeah, it is story uh, time because when I was a child, no, I was. No, it's not. I'm going to reclaim my boy. time. Be quiet. I'm going to reclaim my time right now. Uh, biological women are real women. A guy born as a man who wants to pretend to be a woman and put him in his big Fats. gym and the twins in the locker room with underage girls, or his little gym and twins, by the way, is disgusting. Um, I have a daughter. She turned 14 last year. I took her to a store called Airy for her birthday. We went shopping for an hour in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. She was taken to her dressing room by a biological male in a mini skirt and a lace bralette. It is disgusting. I have no idea if that man was over 18 or under 18. It is absolutely disgusting that we're redefining what women are and allowing men into women's private spaces. And by the main way, Ms. Wiley, I am a survivor of rape. I was raped at the age of 16. I am not going to hmm. put other women and girls into unsafe situations where biological men with their willy-nillies out putting women and girls at risk. It's absurd, it's disgusting, and I have one minute and 50 seconds left of my questioning. Do you believe, Ms. Wiley, that you need to have a PhD in biology to know what a woman is, yes or no? Is that a yes or a I no? Just, I first so want to just say you I'm are right. Out of time. It, I am so sorry, and you should never you have didn't to do suffer it. from sexual violence. You need a PhD violence. in biology to know what a woman is. I've been rape shamed by the left, and I'm not going to allow any of that stuff to happen today. Do you believe that you need a PhD to define what a woman is? Yes or no is I the question. I think every woman is able to define herself as a woman. Yes or no. Works. There's biology and science. I would encourage every American to follow the science. Um, are there risks to women when biological men are in a bathroom with them, Ms. Wiley? Yes or no? 
we have um, every reason to want everyone to be she safe. Can't even and answer the question. We are so not the left, safe Everybody or listen unsafe. to the left today. I, they cannot say yes or no when uh, in asking if, whether or not there are risks to women when biological men are in the bathroom. Can't even say yes or no in the hearing today. This is lunacy. This is absurd. This gender bending ideology of the left. Um, is disgusting. It's absurd. It's absolute lunacy. And it is a mental health issue in our country. If you agree with this ideology of allowing men into women's spaces, you have a mental health problem in this country. Um, I don't have to go on about the Planet Fitness in Alaska just a few weeks ago or months ago where this guy and his boxers is in the locker room shaving and there's an underage girl in a towel in the locker room with him. This stuff is disgusting. And I'm going to do huh. everything in my power as a conservative woman in this country, in Congress, to protect all of our women and girls from this lunacy that's happening in the country today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I yield back. They can't answer the question straight. Like, whenever you see someone can't answer a question straight, is that they have something to hide. Or you are spinning the truth and they don't want to accept it. The left keep on denying the facts. Can anyone, without having a degree in biology, define what a woman is? Is it yes or no? The lady <laughs> could not answer. Say, say something else. It's as simple as that. A yes or no answer. The left keeps on doing this every single time. They can't answer straight, guys. I love this woman right here. The woman. Congresswoman. Like, I love her. I love her guts. I love how she... She's ready to stand for people who are oppressed. She's ready to stand for people who are, are raped, have been raped, because she, she has passed through that before, and she knew that it's a very terrible experience, and she's ready to stand against rape, all this pronouns. Keep it pronoun. I don't care about your feelings, according to what she said. I don't, she don't care about your feelings. When it comes to the left, they keeps on turning the story up and down. The lady right there with the black hair, with a with a white gown, with a white dress, she couldn't answer the question straight. That is how the normandy do. The left keep on running away from the answer, or they are easily triggered. So that is how they keep on bypassing some questions. It's very serious. Watch all interview that have to do with the left when they are inter interrogating them. They can't answer a question straight. Why? Because there's something fishy. Why? Because they know the truth. They just don't accept it. This was beautiful. I love this woman. God, I say like, I'm going to go follow her now. Like, watch more of her videos because I love her, her weight. I love how she stand out for the oppressed. It's, it's really, really admirable, guys. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. I got scales on.